Welcome to episode three of my morals and values. Today we're going to be talking about what's right and what's wrong. First of all, what do I mean by what's right and what's wrong? How does it make sense? How does this apply to anything, especially your morals and value? As I always say, extrinsically, there are wrongs and rights. We all know this. <laughs> there, there, there are places and we all will have a judgment of character, our own morals, our own values, uh, ethically, that we know that there are things that are wrong and right deep down. But I'm going to talk about it in an intrinsic way, which I've discussed before, a way where you put yourself first, where you're thinking about yourself, and it's all inside. It's, it's the mental capacity, what's in your head, and, and what I mean about what's wrong and what's right in your head. Because I think it's a tough one. I think it's a weird one. And I think it's a way we I never used to look at it. And most likely you've never seen it or heard of it in this way. And it might link into other things. And it will with the things I have to back it up and, and say it. But for me, this is a saying. A way I look at how I've gone about things, especially in the last year. That has changed the my outlook on life, the way I do things, from negativity to positivity, from when I'm doubting and questioning whether I should be doing something to understanding actually there is no wrong or right to this. So I can go and do what I want to do. I've got to go do what's best for me, whether it's right or wrong, or a matter of fact, there isn't a right or wrong. So that's what I mean by what's right and what's wrong. And you can take this into multiple walks of life. Like I said before, all of these, this isn't just for a career that you're doubting. You can take this into the way you love people, relationships, family, your outlook on life, where you think you should be in your life. You can take this with anything, how big, how small, whatever situation. this is where I question that there is no right and there is no wrong my first one to lead into what's wrong and what's right and I believe that really empathises and really sort of connects with it the most is don't compare yourself to anyone and this could be a standalone quote on its own, a whole video on itself but for me this really fitted with what's wrong and what's right. You would have heard the saying before. I may have said it before. You may have seen it on social media. Different books you've read. Whatever it may be. But comparison is a thief of joy. And a quick example of that is. Let's say you're in the gym. And you've just hit a personal best doing bench press. At let's say 80 kg. But then someone next to you. Who's been coming to the gym. A whole more year than you. It's a bigger build than you. His whole dedication is to the gym, etc., etc. Does 80 for a warm up, and then he's bench pressing 120 kg. And if you compare yourself to him, and you look down, and you're looking at him, and be like, I wish I could do that, but I'll never do that. And you feel bad about that, and you get yourself upset and worked up because you're comparing yourself to someone that you have no idea how he's living his life, what he's been through, what he's going through, where he's been and why he's doing that, you'll never find joy. You'll never understand. When you hit your own PB and you get push yourself to the absolute max, you'll never feel accomplished. You'll never feel and you'll never be fulfilled. You'll never understand that feeling because you're too busy focusing on other people and comparing yourself to someone else. And that's a short analogy for it. But how do I take this into life. So now when I say don't compare yourself to anyone else, stop comparing yourself, you can take this into multiple walks of life, in multiple areas of your life. And one place I took this and that has really helped me, or I should say the two places, was number one was comparing myself on my career path, on my trajectory and where I'm going in life where life is leading me and what I'm doing 
for so many years, and I'd be lying if I still don't do this sometimes, when you're spiraling and in a bad place. I would constantly question what I'm doing with my life. I didn't go to university. I didn't finish university and then go get a job. I haven't gone to a job that so many of my friends have done. I'm not working that nine to five. I don't have a steady income coming in. I don't know my life a year from now. And for me, I would always compare myself to my friends who had been to university, done a master's, had a job, had money coming in. I would look at their social media, their Instagram, the things that they're doing, and they'd be loving life, and they'd be really enjoying it. And I'd look back at myself and I'd be like, what am I doing? How come they're doing all this and I'm struggling to find a purpose, to find a reason, to find a, a why? A why I'm here, a why I'm doing this, why I didn't do any of that. And that would get me worked up. I would spiral. I would dive and you get into a horrible loop and you go and you go and you go. And it took a lot of work and a lot of timing to realise actually, what, why am I doing this? I've been on a totally different path to everyone else, a such a unique path. But that isn't just me because it's relative to every single person. Again, you can't compare what you've been through to what I've been through. It's all relative. But for me, I'd been on this such unique path where I was ill when I was 15, again when I was 17, and a stem cell transplant, and, and all this going on, and then the mental health side of everything, that actually, why am I comparing myself? Why am I judging myself to other people? When who I am, what I have, my knowledge, my wisdom, my experience, the person I am today is something that I could never, ever have wished for, that I'm grateful for. But why, even though I have all this, would I still be envious, jealous of other people? And it's because I was comparing myself. It's because I would use myself as the one, the backdrop, and I look at all friends, and I just wouldn't understand why. Why, why, why? But I couldn't stop comparing myself. And that's what it was. And that's what it came down to. When in reality, as soon as I stopped comparing myself, as soon as I stopped realising that I'm so special, I'm so unique, I'm, I am me, I'm Tom. Something flicks, a switch in your head and it changes and you just, you stop it. And you're grateful for it. Because you know the person you are, the person you're becoming, you know what you're doing. You know that you shouldn't be doing the same as them because if you were doing the same, we'd all be boring. We wouldn't be different. We wouldn't be unique. We would be, as I like to say, normal. But what is normal? No one knows what normal is. If we were all normal, it would be boring. So when you compare yourself to someone, you take away all your achievements. You put yourself down, your life down. You don't think you're worthy. You don't think you have anything to your name. You don't understand yourself. You don't think that anything you do is going to be worth it. And you believe and you tell yourself that no matter what you do, you'll never be as good as that other person. When in reality, you're the best person you can be. The other way I look at don't compare yourself to anyone is, especially this last year, is relationships. And it's a weird one, and I think people might think it's a weird one. But time after time, especially with social media, you'd look at my, I'd look at my own relationship. And I'd compare it to others. I'd look at my friends in relationship, and they'd be doing this this weekend, something else the next weekend. And they'd tell someone this, and they'd tell their friend that. And you'd hear it. And then you see on social media people trying to tell you how you should love, how a relationship should be, what you should be doing to get the best relationship, five tips to do this, five tips, why your relationship won't work, why this won't work. And you can't help it. It all goes in and it sinks in. And it gets ingrained in your brain. And before you know it, you're comparing your relationship 
to thousands of other people's relationships when in reality who you are as a person is so unique is so special you're one of a kind that when you have two people that are one of a kind your relationship the way you treat each other the way you are with each other what your relationship goes through what you go through where you'll be is so different it's so different to anyone else's that the story's not even written yet it's impossible to write because you just don't know and for so long I would just keep comparing a relationship I was in and I'd feel guilty that I wasn't treating them right or was doing being too excessive telling them I love them too much caring too much being there for them too much being too in love and that comes back in hand with what's right and what's wrong I kept believing there was a right to a relationship and a wrong to a relationship and I kept believing that people would judge me that if I was doing this wrong it would be bad or I wasn't doing it right but then you realise an epiphany clicks and it definitely helped when you meet someone that you love and you fall in love with that there is no right and wrong. You stop comparing yourself to other people, other relationships, because you realise the relationship you have, the love you have, the connection you have with this person is to be cherished. It's so unique. It's so special. It's one of a kind. And that you learn to love unconditionally, wholeheartedly. That you realise what you have is not comparable to anyone else's relationship. And the way you love each other is not comparable to any way other people love each other. And that's when you realise that there isn't a wrong and there isn't a right in relationship. It's just what you two have. It's the way you guys want to be with each other. The way you want to love each other. And you do it in your own unique way, in your own special way. And that what's wrong and what's right disappears you realise it's all just a farce and you see all these posts and they mean nothing to you anymore because you know what you have you know how special it is and that's how I stopped comparing myself to anyone that's when I realised what's wrong and what's right is a load of rubbish following on from that the next point is don't follow a rule book to life because there isn't one. Very similar to what's wrong and what's right. Is we all believe there's a certain way to live life. We're all ingrained from a young age. You go to school, school into university, university into a full-time job, or you go to school, finish school, straight into a full-time job, whatever it may be, and you get married by your 25, 30, you have kids by the time you're 32, whatever it may be, you work until you're 65, try at 65, boom, now you go do what, whatever you want to do. And, and we're so ingrained that this is the way we live our lives that in reality, there is no rule book to life there is no certain way to live your life there is no right and there is no wrong in how you live your life you've got to live your life the way you want to live it and so without waffling too much because it's very much the same as comparing yourself the way you compare yourself in a career the same you compare yourself in a relationship there isn't a rule book to a relationship there isn't a rule book to life there isn't a rule book to anything so stop trying to follow a rule book. Stop trying to follow what people are telling you what to do. Stop trying to be someone you're not. Take that leap of faith. Go and do what you want to do. For me, that leap of faith was meeting someone that I loved and pursuing it. And that was a huge leap of faith for me. And realising that I should stop comparing myself to other people in this relationship and go and do what I want to do or it never would have happened. Take that leap of faith. The other one of not following a rule book was doing this, buying a camera, sitting in front of a camera, writing a blog called Canada of Cancer, sharing my story, going to do what I want to go and do, take that leap of faith and do it. Because I realised with what I've been through, how different, how 
unique is the difference is I, I realized because of that that there isn't a rule book to life because that sure isn't in the rule book <laughs> definitely isn't in the rule book so that's my message to you is telling you there isn't a rule book to life there's no right or wrong Stop comparing yourself and because there isn't a rule book there isn't a right and wrong so go and do you whatever way that may be my third point with what's wrong and what's right is one that explains itself self-explanatory we come into this world with nothing and we leave this world with nothing and I think it's quite simple to understand this one that actually we do come in this world with nothing and we do leave with absolutely nothing so no matter how hard you work in life chasing money chasing things that materialistic things that you think you want and have at the end of the day you can get all these things you become a millionaire a billionaire but at the end of the day, when we leave this world, everything that you have will no longer be yours, will mean nothing. And so what I mean, so when we, by this, when we come into this world with nothing and leave with nothing is, you have to make the most of it. You have to make the most of what's important to you. You have to realise what's important. You have to realise what you can take with you throughout the whole of life. I'm not going to sit here and tell you what that is because it's different for absolutely everyone. Everyone has their own goals, their own reasons, what they have. I know for me, what's important and what I want is relationships, love, family, cherishing life, prioritising those who matter to me, prioritising myself. And I know when I'm sitting on my deathbed, when I'm older, that I'll have these memories, these moments, that I've lived my life to the absolute full. That I have no regrets. Nothing to bring me down. Nothing that I'll look back on on my deathbed and be like, I wish I did this, I wish I did that. I wish I spent more time with my family. I wish I told that person I loved them. I wish I pursued that goal of my dreams that I loved and I knew I loved but I was too scared or I was too busy working to earn more money or I was too busy doing this and I said by the time I'm 40 this will happen <laughs> I know I'll never have those regrets because I'm in a fortunate enough position where I realised that I'm not saying I would have wanted to gone through it this way and I wish I found out a different way but I went through it I went through what I went through to get to this point and so for me when I came into this world with nothing, I know I'm going to leave with nothing. So I've got to make the most of the one life I've been given. And I've got to do that in the way that I love it. And that's so different to everyone else. I think this is my message to you, is understand that, realise that. So make sure that this one life you're given, you live it to the absolute full you live it the way you want to live it. My fourth and final point on what's wrong and what's right and one that resonates with me a lot that if anything could be an umbrella term for so many more that I've spoken about but comes under what's wrong and what's right is never give up no matter the circumstances never quit never walk away never stop being you. And I think it's quite self-explanatory. But maybe it's only self-explanatory in, in certain parts. But this is my way of telling you that you can take this in every walk of life. Everywhere you go. Whoever you may be. Wherever you are. Whether you're going after a career that you want to create the life that you want to live. So you can be the person you want to be. So you can have financial freedom or you can have a loving family or you can spend time with your loved ones 
or you can treat your loved ones to what they want to do. Whatever it may be, this is me telling you to never give up because there is no wrong and right. Because there isn't a rule book to life. Because we sh shouldn't compare yourself to other people. And never give up because we came into this world with nothing and we leave with nothing. So go after what you want to go after. Never give up on anything or anyone. This goes back when I said in one of my first videos. Is want it, don't need it. So when you want something, when you really want it, don't give up on it. Whether it's a person, a job, a career, a life, a way of living. Never, never give up. There might be times when you have to adapt and change, be dynamic, find a different route, find a different way, change that, what you're going after but never give up on it. And realistically, intrinsically, it is never give up on yourself. That's what I really mean. Deep down, never give up on being you and being the best person you can be. So, send that message. Kiss that girl. Tell your family you love them. Go to the gym. Post a video every week. Be the best version of yourself no matter what. Like I said in previous videos, then you attract. You don't chase. And things work out. And I promise you they do. I would have said before, and you've heard me before, that so many of these have crossovers and depends which way you want to look at them. They can come under all the videos that I've got coming. All the videos I've done. There's not one, it just leads to one. that They all mean so much to each other. But I hope you have a better understanding of what I mean by what's wrong and what's right now. And that's that there isn't a wrong and there isn't a right. And we know that. Because we shouldn't compare ourselves. There's no wrong and right with who you are. There isn't a rule book to life, to what we're doing. So why would there be a wrong and right? We come into this world and leave this world with nothing. So what's wrong and what's right with what we do in this one life we're given? And why should we give up? Why should we ever give up the circumstances? Because there isn't a wrong and right if you do or don't and what you're pursuing and what you're doing. And this is my way of telling you that there's no wrong, there's no right. What do they mean? What does wrong mean? What does right mean? In every walk of life, in everything we do, down to the minute details, there's just, you just don't know. <laughs> so stop thinking you think there's a wrong and right in that sense. Stop thinking that your relationship is different and wrong compared to someone else's. You've got to do what's right for you. You've got to do what's best for you. You've got to put yourself first and who you are. Stop thinking that the career path you're on and what you've done is wrong because other people are earning more money or they look like they're living a better life. Stop. That isn't a wrong and right. You're on your own path. You're on your own journey. You're going to your own destination. As long as you're fulfilled and prioritizing yourself and being yourself, that it'll work out. You'll find your path. So, this is what I'd say what's wrong and what's right mean, but none of us know what's wrong and what's right at the end of the day. So, make of it what you will.